Often, professionals want to know if there is a relationship between two or more variables. For instance, is there a relationship between the grade on the third French exam a student takes and the grade on the final exam? If yes, then how is it related and how strongly? Regression can be used here to arrive at a conclusion. This is an example of bivariate data, that is, two variables. However, statisticians are mostly interested in multivariate data. Regression analysis is used to predict the value of one variable, the dependent variable, on the basis of other variables, the independent variables. In the simplest form of regression, linear regression, you work with one independent variable. The formula for simple linear regression is shown on the screen. In the next screen, we'll look at a few examples of regression analysis. Regression analysis is used in several situations, such as those described on the screen. In example one, using the data given on the screen, you have to analyze the relation between the size of a house and its selling price for a realtor. In example two, you need to predict the exam scores of students who study for 7.2 hours with the help of the data shown on the slide. A couple more examples are given on the screen. In example three, based on the expected number of customers and the previous day's data given, you need to predict the number of burgers that will be sold by a KFC outlet. In example four, you have to calculate the life expectancy for a group of people with the average length of schooling based on the data given. Let's look at the two main types of regression analysis, simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. Both of these statistical methods use a linear equation to model the relationship between two or more variables. Simple linear regression considers one quantitative and independent variable X to predict the other quantitative but dependent variable Y. Multiple linear regression considers more than one quantitative and qualitative variable to predict a quantitative and dependent variable Y. We'll look at the two types of analyses in more detail in the slides that follow. In simple linear regression, the predictions of the explained variable Y when plotted as a function of the explanatory variable X from a straight line. The best fitting line is called the regression line. The output of this model is a function to predict the dependent variable on the basis of the values of the independent variable. The dependent variable is continuous and the independent variable can be continuous or discrete. Let's look at the different kinds of linear and nonlinear analyses. List of linear techniques are simple, method of least squares, coefficient of multiple determination, standard error of the estimate, dummy variable, and interaction. Similarly, there are many nonlinear techniques available such as polynomial, logarithmic, square root, reciprocal, and exponential. To understand this model, we'll first look at a few assumptions. The simple linear regression model depicts the relationship between one dependent and two or more independent variables. The assumptions which justify the use of this model are as follows. Linear and additive relationship between the dependent and independent variables. Multivariate normality. Little or no collinearity in the data. Little or no autocorrelation in the data. Homostatisticity that is, variance of errors same across all values of x. The equation for this model is shown on the screen. A more descriptive graphical representation of simple linear regression is given on the screen. Beta naught represents the slope. A slope with two variables implies that one unit changes in x result in a two unit change in y. Beta one represents the estimated change in the average value of y as a result of one unit change in x. Epsilon represents the estimated average value of y when the value of x is zero. This demo will show the steps to do simple linear regression in R. In this demo, you'll learn how to do simple linear regression. Let's use x and y vectors that we have created in the previous demo. We also ensured there exists a relationship between X and Y visually by plotting a graph. To build a simple linear regression model, let's use the LM function.
to see how the linear model fits into x and y, let's plot the linear line by the a-b line function. Let's use the predict function to test or predict the linear model. We can pass a known variable to predict the unknown variables. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.